Now you know a bit more about the Cooperative and Automated Vehicle Initiative. Let's have a look at the technologies involved. Intelligent transport systems are all the things that help us observe and assess what is happening on our roads, building a picture of real-time traffic situations. This information means we can respond to the traffic situation in a number of ways, such as providing warning messages to drivers via variable message signs, reducing variable speed limits and updating available traveller information. While we already have a number of ITS applications in use, the latest breakthrough comes from using these systems cooperatively to bring the information directly to the user. Cooperative intelligent transport systems enable safe, interoperable, wireless networked communication, which means that vehicles, infrastructure, personal mobile devices and transport management systems can now share information about the road. This means a driver can receive warnings of a potential hazard through a visual display, seat vibration or audible tone. These warnings could include information about upcoming roadworks or a change in variable speed limit via vehicle to infrastructure communication. And can also receive vehicle to vehicle warnings about the behaviour of other drivers, like another vehicle braking heavily ahead. Cooperative vehicles provide drivers with 360 degree awareness of similarly equipped vehicles and infrastructure. The warning and information messages are communicated via 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi or 5.9 GHz radio frequency. It's these technologies that will be trialled in the CITS pilot program in Ipswich, Queensland. CAVI will also help Queensland and TMR get ready for vehicles that drive for themselves. These autonomous vehicle technologies can be as simple as hill start assistance all the way to artificial intelligence, capable of responding to changing driving environments. Although we can't guarantee when these vehicles will be available to buy, we do need to know how they will work and how they will interact with other road users on our roads. So vehicles with autonomous capabilities will be tested on both government and council controlled roads. Our next generation of vehicles will feature increased levels of connectivity and automated driving. By embracing these new technologies, we'll be able to reduce congestion, make our roads more efficient and reduce fuel consumption. And most importantly, we'll be improving road safety for all Queenslanders. To find out more, visit qld.gov.au slash cabbie.